I just like to uh, welcome you to uh, One Touch Ministries, second our home gathering where our overseers is uh, Pastor Shannon and Prophet is Nadija Young, um, and and the campus minister is myself, uh, Minister Henry Jackson, and I would just want to want to just welcome you. Um, with for uh, joining us this uh afternoon, um, so you're we going to have a reading of scripture by uh by Sister Barbara Jackson. Good morning. <clears throat> I'm gonna read reaching out. It's Psalms 18, verse 16 to 19. Reaching out, he reached down on my half and took hold of me. And the reading is, <clears throat> he sent from above, he took me, he drove me out of many waters, he delivered me from my strong enemies, and from them which hated me, but they were too strong for me. He preserved me in, in, the, in the day of my clemency. But the Lord was my state. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord reward me according to my righteousness, according to the freedom of my hand. And he <coughs> corresponded me. But I have kept the way of the Lord. And have not weakly, weakly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him, and I kept myself from my, my iniquity. And down here at the bottom, and I read another little saying. When have you felt overwhelmed by trials? How did God sustain you? My thought is, Heavenly Father, there are times when my burden becomes too much to carry. I thank you for continually reaching out to me, sustaining me, and grant me your peace and strength and wisdom. For further study, read when you're going to get tough. I have hope. And John in our tribe. Lord word have been read and blessed for today. Yeah, we're going to uh go into prayer. Also, I'd like to also uh, uh, pray for 
um, any uh, one of one those guys that 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 is in need of prayer. Um, yeah, I just like uh, pray for my uh, mom and my grandmother, and my sister, and my nieces and nephews. Um, that they that they have peace. Um, throughout this year, that so that everything hey, new uh, shall be uh, made uh, new in the world for them in Jesus. Just saying, Jesus' name, pray, amen. What you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Lord, Lord, I come and say thank you. Thank you for our land down last night. Thank you for your angels watching over us as we saw this night. By the early this morning, Father God, you touch us with your bad thing will. You open our eyes and behold this day. He says, Thank you, have made you say to rejoice in your way. We thank you, Father God, for being our Father, who art in heaven. I will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us the trespass against God. Lead us not in no temptation, but deliver us from all sin and evil. For that is your kingdom, your power, and your glory. May God bless those who are unable. To take care of themselves and God strengthen them for their wicked, their love, for their torn down, offering them every, every lane inside. We thank you, Father God, may you pray for those who know you in the part of their sin. In Jesus' name we pray, Lord. Amen. Amen. So we're going to go into, into uh, praise and worship. Let Jesus lead us yes, on Mondays, walk on, on Tuesdays, walk on, <coughs> on Wednesdays, walk on, let Jesus be your guide, he's able to carry your load, you can see further on down the road, walk on, by faith, walk on, on Monday, walk on, on Tuesday, walk on, let Jesus be your guide, oh, he's able to carry your load, even the further down the road, walk on. I say, walk on. Think about the blood of Jesus. May we all precious. Him I know that made me white as snow. Him other. Arms I know nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. There is so precious. Yes, I know that makes me white as snow. There is no other. I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. I would like to go into a, a testimony of service. No, I, I I do thank the Lord for uh for uh, blessing me um this week um cause me because uh with well, the Lord know that I had a had a, I want to say a awakening, you know um. So, you know, yeah, I know that the uh, Lord was, was was with me, and you know, um, throughout this week. So, you know, I, I'm just grateful that 
you know that the report that that the report did not come back life threatening or anything, and you know and I'm just you know thankful that that I'm that I'm still alive. I'm still here. I'm still in my mind, in my sound mind, and I'm you know and I just want to just 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 continue on and doing what what the Lord have uh, called me to do. Okay, so then we can just jump to the sermon part of the service. Um, if you do, if you do have your Bibles, then go with me to the book of uh, Matthew, I mean chapter fifteen, and one, and, and I want to read verse one through twenty. <laughs> it's like, uh, you let's see, uh, you must be uh listening to the uh, Holy Spirit too. Yes, Lord. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, what's well, you got? Uh, so. I, so I will will be reading this for the message translation, uh, Matthew chapter fifteen verse one through twenty. It is um, uh, it is a, a story here that Jesus. Well, it, it's a kind of a situation here, and it reads that after that Pharisees and religious scholars came to Jesus, all uh, all the way from Jerusalem, uh, criticizing. Why do your disciples play fast and loose with, with the rules? But Jesus put it right back on them and asked that why do you use your rules to play fast and loose with God's commands? For, for, for it say that God clearly says, respect your father and mother. And anyone denouncing father or mother should be killed. But you weasel around that by saying, whoever wants to can say to father and mother that I owe to you, I've given to God. That can hardly be called respecting a parent. So you cancel God's command by your rules. But uh, oh, uh, Jesus had called them uh, frauds. Uh, Israel's prophecy of you hit hit the bullseye when he spoke and said that these people make a big show of saying the right thing, but their heart isn't in it. They act like they're worshiping me, but they don't mean it. They, they just use me as a cover for teaching whatever suits their fancy. Verse 10 and continues reading by Saying, and he then called the crowd together and said, listen, and take this to heart. It is not what you swallow that pollutes your life, but what you vomit up. And, so, and it continues reading that later his disciples came and told him that did, that did you know how upset the Pharisees were when they heard you say that? And so Jesus had just uh, shrugged it off and he said, every tree that wasn't planted by my father in heaven will be pulled up by his roots. So he said, forget them that they are blind men leading blind men. That when a blind man leads a blind man, they both end up in a ditch. And Peter said, said uh, that I don't get it. Say, put it in, in, in plain language. And Jesus responded to him by saying, you too? Like, are you being uh, willfully um, stupid? Yeah, say, don't you know that anything that is swallowed works its way through the intestines and is finally uh, defaticated? But what comes out of the mouth gets, but but what comes out of the mouth gets, gets its start in the heart, for it is from the heart that we vomit up e evil, uh, uh arguments, uh, murders, the uh, adulterous, uh, fornication, thieves, lies, and cussing. That 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 is what pollutes. So. 
eat, eating or not eating certain foods, washing or not washing your hands, that's neither here nor there. And so, as I just, just read to you, um, I want to say uh, 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 Matthew 15, verse 1 through 20, as you was uh, uh, listening, Jesus was, was actually uh, telling uh, the, the Pharisees about uh, how that they was uh, living their lives and how how they were living their life was giving a representation of of, of, of what was on their hearts. And so this is what, what, what actually came to mind is what is the, the function of man? And so uh, what is a function? So a function is a activity or purpose naturally to or intended for a person or thing. And, and, and another definition of function is is work or operate in a proper or particular way. And so Jesus had noticed the Pharisees were what I, uh, what I wanted to say they, they, they was acting in a particular way. And, and so as Jesus was explaining that that you go around teaching people you know that is what they eat. You know, or or other words, is is what they're taking in, or is what they're learning. It, it, it is that's that that that's the whole thing. And Jesus says, no, it is not what your intake it is, not what you're learning, it's not what you're getting. Is is what you're saying it is how how you living your life is how you speaking and treating people is how you uh uh I want to say do do these things on the out. Work. So that's why Jesus was referring when he said that that is not what goes inside of a man's mouth that determines his heart, but 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 is what comes out of a man's mouth that actually determines his heart. So uh, there are actually eight uh, ways on how man functions. Uh, last, uh, I finna say last uh, uh, sermon uh, I talked about. That man is a tripar being. Uh, he is a spirit. He lives in a body and he possesses a soul, which is your mind, will, and emotions. And so, uh, no, I and, and so with that, uh, there, uh, I had this wrote down here that there are eight ways in, in how we function. So, uh, so I'm just going to name them off. That I'm going to explain uh, them to you. Uh, number one is is a uh, is uh, eyes and ears. Uh, number two is thinking. Number three is feelings. Uh, say number four is decisions. Number five is actions. Number six is habits. Number seven is character, and number eight is is a destination and so how i'm going to explain this is uh, one is the eyes and the ears you now our eyes and, and our ears are, are are what's considered our uh, gates or our doorway uh to our mind and so uh yeah whatever we see uh, uh whether it's you know pictures uh images uh movies or, or just watching people do things in front of us. Though, uh, yeah, we take that in as, as, as I want to say, information. And so the things that we hear, whereas it's from music, is again from from any type of sound or uh, it, uh, anything that 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 we can take from our ears. Or, or in, in other words, we can hear people say things and we can misinterpret it. But even that is still uh, information that goes in to our minds. And so it leads to the second point, which is the thinking. The thinking is where the mind is. And so your, your thinking is going to be determined by what information you get from your eyes and your ears. And so uh, the next one down is feelings. So if you have a, a wrong type of feeling, then you then you have to go in reverse. 
So you have to ask yourself, am I feeling this type of way because I'm thinking a certain type of way? And if you're thinking a certain type of way, do you have to ask yourself, with what information uh, do I have that's causing me to think this way? And, and so a, a example would be me to, you know, this like, I want to say uh, sis, Sister Ruthie. But but even though I may have, uh, I want to say negative feelings towards her, the thing I have to ask myself, yeah, what type of thoughts do I have about her? Is the thoughts that I'm thinking is negative? Or or should I say, am I only thinking about the negative things that she done uh, towards me? Or am I only thinking about the, the I want to say, the negative things that I've seen her do or or, or heard her say? And then, and so, uh, again, that's lead to, we back up from there, we go to our eyes and our ears. So, how I treat her is my decision. So, that's number four. So, so how we make our decisions is based upon how we feel. And so, so we are human beings, uh, basically make our decisions based upon how we feel. And so, um, and again, you want to go in reverse. So if you figure out that from your decisions will determine your actions or in other words, what you're going to do. And so if you're trying to figure out why you're acting, you know, uh, bad or you're acting out of line or you're being disrespectful with, with your actions, do you have to ask yourself, what decisions am I making? And for you to find out what decisions you're making, you have to ask yourself uh, uh, what type of feelings do I have towards uh, uh, th these things that the, the things that I'm trying to choose from and so uh, so the the actions that you end up taking is going to form itself into habits and so when you continue to keep doing a certain action a, 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 a continuous way then that will turn into a habit and and so out of that habit, that's how people can define your character by, by the thing, by the habits that they see you constantly doing. And so in, in other words, if, if I'm constantly uh, drinking, if I'm constantly smoking, if I'm constantly, then people are going to assume that my character is, is a drunk or, you know, I, I'm, a, 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 I'm a, a, a smoker. And so people are going to... De determine my character based upon the type of habits that I uh, have or the type of things that I that they see me constantly doing and so last but not least uh, the the character is what determines our destination and so how people see us is is, is where we're going to go and so um, with this you know being said if, 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 oh I think I Pointed out that if you want to change one of the uh, uh, things here, then you won't want to go in and reverse. And so, if you're trying to change the road in your life that you're going, then you want to change the character. So you want to look at, you know, your character. How do people perceive you? And and, and you want to reverse back to your habits. So what what type of habits uh, uh, am I constantly doing or getting into um and then you back up from that you know then you're gonna go into your decisions back up from that is your feelings back up from that is your thinking and back up from that is your eyes and your ears now i want want to actually speak the sevenfold blessings over your life um so yeah i speak as a uh blessings of Health for you and, and your family. So, uh, number two, I speak blessings of deliverance from any habits that you have in your life. Uh, number three, I speak blessings of peace to your mind and from anybody or anything that may be disturbing you. Uh, number four, I speak blessings of salvation to any friends or loved ones. Number five. I speak blessings of comfort to any person that's hurting, that's lonely, 
that's breathing or confused. Number six, I speak blessings of finances, debt cancellation, prosperity, uh, economic empowerment to all of God's people according to his riches and glory. And number seven, I speak blessings of anointings and promotion in your life to complete your assignment to move forward in your purpose. If you uh, actually have uh, your Bibles, uh, go with me to the book of Numbers, uh, chapter 6, verse 24, and we're going to read 24, 25, and 26, uh, where together. This is uh, uh, from the message translation. Uh, I'm finna say, are you already? Yeah. Okay, it say, uh, it say, may God bless you. May God keep you. May God smile on you. May God gift you. May God look you full in the face and make you prosper.